Hello and uh, welcome to the vlog. It's been so long since I've done a vlog and I'm so sorry. I had I had so many sponsors come through in November and I am so thankful for you guys just like holding out and dealing with it. Um, but I've got a vlog and then I've got a try on haul, like a fun try on haul is the next video and then after that I'm going to do my like annual uh, makeup video where I talk, like I share how my year's been and like anything new that I'm doing with my makeup and stuff. Um, ignore my face. My skin feels really old lately. Like look at this old flesh. So I need to do a couple of face masks before I uh, do that <laughs> end of the year video. Okay, anyway, so I'm this vlog is about my new house. Yay! Um, I'm gonna quickly show you around the new house, but first I'm going to talk to you about this installation room that I did. I don't know why I picked this room to sit in. Um, yeah, I'm gonna talk to you about this um, installation room that I had been working on since June. So back in, yeah, back in uh, June, um, MSWA, which is a, a charity that contacted me, they support uh, neurological conditions, including MS. Um, and WA is for Western Australia because that's where I live. They approached me and a few influencers and artists and and they wanted to do um, five rooms with I think 15 to 20 activations and it, it's um, an event that's gone on for November, December and hopefully into January as well. Um, so if you guys are seeing this video now and it's still January and it's still open, you have to go. Um, they might end up closing on the 22nd of December, not sure. But it was extended from November to December, which is awesome. So hopefully, because it's been so popular, uh, they'll be open till January. They kind of just came to me and were like, what would you like to do? Um, any colors, vibes, ideas you would like, and the only thing that they needed me to focus on was uh, the five senses. So um, every room was like a sense, I guess. And so I got my room was called the sense of silence, uh, the sounds of silence. So it was almost like a hearing and um, like rest room. So they wanted uh, rest room. All the Americans are like, a toilet? Uh, no. So, the room was about, um, I, I guess I'll explain it further in the vlog, but, um, like, one of the main side effects of a neurological condition is fatigue and stress, and to lower stress and fatigue, you need to, um, rest and relax and find a safe place of zen and collect yourself so is i'll just throw these initial sketches up so i wanted to oh and the other thing that they wanted was hammocks so i had complete freedom but i needed hammocks and i needed the the sense of relaxation so which is like not necessarily what i originally would have done i've never worked with hammocks before uh but here we are. So initially I wanted to do a pinky purpley butterfly room with um with butterflies and almost like a tea party and it's like a forest with like a, a little toadstool people can sit on and you can be like a butterfly. And then the other part of the room was going to be um, these hammocks and I wanted to do the walls blue and I could paint the hammocks into rainbows and clouds and so you can then lay in a hammock and be in the sky and you know be safe up in the sky in the clouds and I wanted to build um like foam or stuffing and lights underneath the hammocks and so you were laying like in the clouds um and then as the space kind of developed um it ended up working best the other way where the mushroom butterfly concept was in the blue side and then we changed the hammocks from like pinky purple to like a green color and so it became like a like a 
swampy, uh, like halfway to boards going to fairyland, if that makes sense. And I think it turned out awesome having this big seven foot blue mushroom. Yeah, so this is me. Um, I had just landed from America the night before. So I was super jet lagged, disorientated, um, but I had to get straight on site because I only had, I think I only had six days to paint and put the room together and finish the room before the event opened. So you will see me um, calmly putting everything together. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so it's just going to cut to a vlog of me um, talking about the event, blah blah blah, um, and me putting the room together, and then you'll see the some v quick little videos from the opening night, and and then some videos of us on the news, uh, people enjoying it, and I've got some collages of photos, um, and then I'll give you guys a little house tour um, of my messy mess house, uh, yeah. It's a hot mess, honestly. I don't know, I'm Snoopy. I love seeing people's houses. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my story. So I'm just seeing my room as like a template for the first time today. And this is what it looks like. It is so cute. So I'll show you it from the outside. So we have these doors here and like that's the logo for the event for the sensation gallery so then you walk in and we have three hammocks half the room is green well two thirds of the room is green and one third of the room is blue there's going to be a curtain down here so then this will be like solid blue um so today i need to paint the mushroom and the rocks blue just get a blue get it done and then um we just had this lovely lady drop off these mushrooms that she made there's 40 of these mushrooms and so what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna place them around all around the room to kind of tie the two rooms together um they pop these branches up and i i originally wanted the branches hanging and coming out like a tree canopy but i think it looks so simple just is and i'm going to take the branches out and put them all into the green room because the concept behind the green room now is that it, that is the relaxation room so there's the hammocks and what happens is you lay in the hammocks and you listen to music and then you then can take cute photos in front of the mushroom um i'm very excited so um we're doing video stuff for this room on tuesday so i need to make sure that this room is ready to go for video on tuesday Okay, so I'm back for day two of painting. I managed to finish the mushroom last time and I got some cute uh, purple lines underneath, purple and blue lines underneath and they've dried quite nicely. So I think I'm happy with them. And then, don't mind me, the hay fever is next level. Um, and then they put up some cloud decals for me which is so cute i'm gonna tr see if um like stars looks nice i'm gonna just play with the projector and see what i want to do we got some cute stepping stones and then the lily pads on the green side and then today i'm gonna try and paint the hammocks green that's very ambitious but we'll see how we go okay so it's been another few hours and I've managed to do uh, like some stars and dots on the top and I did some cute little stars going down the stem. Um, I think that's made a huge difference. It looks so nice. I cleaned up around the bottom, chucked a bean bag back there just so I can get an idea of how it's all looking. Um, I think it needs something else. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do a couple of little stars along the wall here, just so it's all clouds and stars. So, 
Yeah. Okay, so now we are on day three. Um, this is the latest I've stayed here. It looks kind of cute on camera at night time, actually. Becky's here. Um, Becky did an amazing job helping me paint this iceberg looking thing. <laughs> and she painted all of these green branches. They were like brown before, but they're gonna match the hammocks. So Jackson and I painted the hammocks yesterday. They look so much better. And I'll show you the mushroom room. They're, they're looking so much better. I added these little, I added a moon and little like sparkles. <sighs> and then we did something cute with the fairy lights. I combined the blue and the purple fairy lights. They look so cute. I love it. Anyway, I just did my last couple of hours on this room. I'm so tired. I just hammered the shit out of the top of this to make it look more cloud-like. Um, I think that's as cloudy as it's gonna get without me literally needing like heavy machinery. Yeah. Um, obviously I need to like sweep it up and stuff, but then people can sit on a cloud. How cute, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna position the mushrooms with some little lights on them. I'll get to show you when it's all finished. It's gonna look so cute. Oh, so cute. You may see me. Yeah, I love a good ball pit. I'm here in this uh, this separate little section here. There's that is pool cool. rules. It's all about uh, it's all about the. This is the sense of joy and the sense of fun. Not one of the traditional senses, but an important sense nonetheless. So I'm gonna go for a bit of a swim. Come back at eight o'clock. We're gonna be checking out some more very interesting art installations here at Sensations Gallery. Oh, what a cool see place. That looks fun. <laughs> me is Kim. Hi, nice to meet you guys. And nice meeting you. Well, just to start off, Kim. What is it all about, Sensation Gallery? The Sensation Gallery was an event, a bunch of installation art rooms um, created and curated by MSWA to spread the message of sharing information about some of the side effects and symptoms of neurological conditions, including MS. Well, the main concept of this room is that fatigue is a huge side effect for a lot of neurological conditions. So we needed to create a room that would create a place of zen and relaxation, which lowers stress levels and helps with those symptoms. So we wanted to create a place that people could sit and relax and listen to music. And Wasso has provided the music for us. So you can sit in some hammocks here, and feel a little disorientated but relaxed and uh, this room provides almost like a nostalgic childhood feeling which is really relaxing. So I, um, the event's been going now for about uh, three weeks and it's going to be going until the end of December now but I had to come down this morning to do an interview for um, a cha like a TV station so um, that was pretty cool and then I wanted to just like vlog a little bit in the room while we had the room closed but then people wanted to come in so 
I didn't get any shots of the room empty, so I'm hoping I can come down another day this week and just get some shots of the room empty so you guys can see, like, the true finished product. Um, I feel like you've seen enough. Do you think you've seen enough? Um, I'm also gonna, um, Anna and I were organising, um, to do, like, a meet-up, which will be really fun. Um, so maybe I'll have some footage of that in this too. We'll see. Anyway, but yeah, I came down. I was hoping to get some footage, but no. So just so you know, uh, there was, um, Everything in the house has moved and changed like six times. Um, the room that was pretty much complete is my studio. This afternoon light in here is so lovely. Jackson and I can't seem to decide what is better, like what rooms we should be in, um, because only one spare room has air conditioning and it is 40 degrees every day outside at the moment so my uh filming room has been shoved into one of the hot rooms because i deal with heat a lot better than jackson does so this is what it currently looks like so this is kind of it so i've got um i just finished my pretty little thing haul here so it's a big old pile of clothes um, I got some accessories, I got my lights set up, um, my mirror, <sighs> um, and then I've just got a few decoration pieces in here. So I guess when I vlog again next year, you'll see this space coming together nicely. And then we now have, like, our combined kind of office in here because there is an air conditioner. I need to set up my light when I get home because I want to put this in my filming room so that I can have, I want to put it uh, the, on like the uh, that piece of wood um, and then put it, like hang it on the side so I can get a nice cast of cool lighting. So actually cut to me tomorrow night um, putting that together and I'll set this room up a bit better and I'll show you how to set the LIFX light up. Um, yeah, so just before I do this, um, uh, LAFX preview thingy, um, here is our lounge room just quickly before I forget. So I got the rug from Ikea, the furniture's from Furniture Bazaar, Jackson's walking in with <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> Very cute. Um, look how cute our tree is, it looks so cute. We got so many little things on there. Um, and then we've got the other LAFX light here, so that just like bounces some light on this side of the room that counterbalances these ones. Um, yeah, it's pretty cute. It's nice, cozy lounge room, right? Yeah, it is. Are you a robot? <laughs> um, yeah, we just have some cute, fun little bits and pieces. There's the jar from the haul that I did, um, and yeah. Oh, and I picked this up today, actually. This fits so perfectly here. We can put our things on it when we walk in the door. We can see what we look like just before we leave the house. And yeah, I'm not going to show you the kitchen because it is dirty. Say hello to the vlog. Hey, vlog. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm tired. laughs> Um, and then Jackson's going to punish himself by helping me film my tutorial on the LAFX uh, lights. So, you're welcome, Jackson. Thanks. Yay! So, I have two of these LAFX beam kits. Now, they are so beautiful. A lot of people have them as like displays in their lounge rooms or kitchens or they'll like put them on canvases or door frames or something. When I kind of want to use my, so I've got my first one behind my TV down my lounge room for aesthetic purposes. 
but this second one I want to use in my filming room to bounce light onto like the back of my head or the side of my face or I want to use it for like makeup looks and stuff just to make everything look really dynamic. So the, um, the bean kit comes with these things that fly out. Um, they come with six beams that magnetically come together like that. So it makes it really easy to connect all of them together. And they all have um, command strips on the back. Um, so my plan with this set is I found this long piece of wood on the side of the road that's nice and clean and I'm going to command strip all of them onto this strip so that it makes it really easy to move them around and I want to, you know, kind of like lean it against a wall and then I can bounce it, to bounce the light behind me during a video so, or for photos, for cool photos for Instagram and stuff like that. So that's my plan. So the kit comes with the six beams and then it comes with this very essential little cube which is what connects all of them together. Um, and that's how people will have them going in different directions like L shapes um, and the straight lines. So the C here in this setup here, the, the little cube is in this corner here to redirect everything. But I like having it all in a row, one strip. Um, one day when I have like a house of my own and I can glue things on the wall, then I'm totally using this as artwork. Don't you think, Jackson, we should do that in our future houses? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it looks so cute. Um, and then it's really handy because the kits are really flexible where you have your, you have your um, power plug, but they have all of the different international connectors. So you can take these anywhere in the world with you. So if you move overseas, there's no need to piggyback a universal converter onto these. You can just go ahead and pick out, you know, your um, American ones, your English ones, and yeah, you, and your Australian ones, so you're good to go. So I'm going to set this all up, and then I will show you the results afterwards. Um, I think I'm, am I too tired? I might try and set this up. I'll try and set this up tonight. <laughs> So, um, <laughs> Vigo, we're taking photos of Vigo for Christmas and I've got some Lush products and um, we're using the LAFX light at the back and it's just making the tree glow the most beautiful colour. Um, yeah, so this is that second one. Um, I was going to put it on the wood, but before I put it on the wood, I thought I would set it up underneath. Oh my god, look at this angel! Here, just, and this is just two bars and the connector, and look how bright it is. So, honestly perfect for just a little, add to a little photo shoot like this to make the background glow. Like, look at that. That is too cute. Oh my god, he's perfect. Oh, he's so perfect! Blah. Blah, blah, blah. 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 That's the end of the vlog. I hope you liked it. Um, sorry, it was a real hot mess. Um, and please, if I don't see you, oh no, I'll see you before Christmas. I've got a couple more posts before Christmas. So have the best day ever and I love you and bye. <laughs> Look at you. Here we go. Yes. Man.